The mayor is proposing to open a motor vehicle registration office at Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam. The idea is to make it easier for military families to register their vehicles when they're stationed here. What we're looking to do is two times a week, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're going to have people coming from other satellite city halls, Pearl Ridge in particular, two people that are going to staff this office right behind me with these counters to serve the population, both military and civilian who work here or serve here, on their processing of their paperwork, mainly for their motor vehicles. And as you know, these people are doing all new paperwork. It's not like they're just renewing their license like the rest of us folks. And it takes a little longer. And many times they need paperwork signed off by their commanders who are right here on this base across the street. So it's gonna be easier for our military men and women who I think we should help. I mean, they're putting their lives on the line every day for us and making us safer. And we in a small way can help make their lives a little easier in terms of their paperwork. This is definitely going to be a win-win situation by having a satellite circus here on base, so that way if something is missing, we can just walk right across the street or close to our, our, our base or our ship to get the paperwork that we need so we can process our paperwork and get back to the mission. We've got about 30,000 folks that work here on the base every day, and uh, registering your car is kind of like root canal or elective surgery. You don't want to do it, but sometimes you have to do it. And uh, being able to do it close to work, uh, really will be quite beneficial for everybody. You know, the lines at the Satellite City Hall, I was just there a week, uh, about a month ago registering my car, and thank you for putting in chairs and the counter system and all that stuff, but this will even be better for the folks in town that have to go there, less lines for the people on base, closer to where they're working, and uh, just uh, all around quality of life improvement. Captain James says the registration office will occupy a space that was once used as a ticket office. This particular uh, location um, is where our morale, welfare, and recreation used to sell tickets to various events. Now, we've consolidated some of that um, in other locations on the base, so it's essentially sitting vacant. Um, it was already a, a window system, um, so it took very little to just kind of buff and polish the inside and the outside, um, and it's, it was ready to go, kind of a turnkey operation. Caldwell says a new office will shorten the wait time at other vehicle registration sites. The rest of us at our other satellite city halls are going to see our lines diminish and we're going to see the length of the process get even faster because it won't take as much time. And so it's a win-win for both of us. Also the relief to the system in terms of our roads as well as parking at other locations that are already very packed, especially in the Pearl Ridge shopping center area. And as a military wife, I know that there are some additional demands on military families. And so this really helps the, the family efficiency. And one thing that we also want to partner always with the mayor is government efficiency. There will be no additional cost to the city to run the Joint Base Pearl Harbor office. Our personnel are existing. The, st the equipment we have is existing. So it's a matter of just setting up and welcoming everybody to the site. The service will be available to all military personnel and their family members and civilian employees from all bases on Oahu. The proposal has to be approved by the full city council.